It's your girl Shalay, and I am back with an announcement, guys. Yeah, I know it's a little bit different. As you guys can tell, I am super relaxed. <laughs> I'm just in my office on the floor, but your girl is returning to school. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, probably by the thumbnail you can see. You already know that your girl is a dedicated lifelong learner. But what you may not know is that I am a proud member of the military. And so recently I just returned from my fourth deployment to the Middle East. So now I qualify for education benefits. So I'm sure a lot of you already are familiar with a lot of the military service benefits. But what you may not know is some of these benefits, they have an expiration date. So that's why I'm just like seizing this opportunity. And your girl has enrolled in cosmetology school with a focus on nail technician training. Yeah, like, where did this come from? <laughs> it just came out the blue, but y'all know I'm about my coins. I'm all about maximizing my resources and just making the most of my opportunities. So if you are kind of curious on how I arrived at this career choice, y'all, you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to share my story with you. So keep on watching. I enrolled in nail technician school because I'm going to be using my post 9-11 GI Bill, which covers the cost of a one year program. That includes like tuition and books at 100%. So I don't have to pay nothing, not a zero zilch. Okay. Additionally, um, I will receive a one year stipend. Now I'm not going to tell you the exact amount of this stipend, but it is four figures guys. You know how Tabitha Brown once famously said, that's my business. It's your business. <laughs> and that's their business. Some that's your business. Time. It is my business. So as long as I go to school, keep up my GPA, I will be able to get that money every single month for 12 months. Now, I'm already someone who has like two bachelor's degrees. I already have a master's degree. And now for this next phase of my life, I really just wanted something like as an enjoyable career. I mean, I've already worked like the corporate ladder. Um, I've already served my country. I've been deployed four different times. But now it's time for your girl to just relax and explore my own interests. So I guess this is like my soft girl era. Okay. <laughs> this is my year of yes, my soft girl era. But it was really important for me to find a program that can be completed in one year or less. So when I started looking at the different programs, I did not want to be like a truck driver, um, a dental assistant, a medical assistant, a medical coder, a HVAC, a technician, a phlebotomist, a plumber, a paramedic, a landscaper, a groundskeeper, insurance agent, y'all, and a partridge in a pear tree. Like, <laughs> I didn't want to do none of those things. Yes, I can finish in one year or less, but beauty has always just fascinated me. Like, even when we were tasked to do um, like our specializations or pick our choice in nursing when I graduated nursing school, yeah, I requested cosmetic surgery. Like I knew back then in 2011 that cosmetic surgery was going to blow up. I, I just knew it, okay? But I really just find pleasure in doing makeup and nails and I appreciate like the confidence boost that it brings when transforming people's appearance. If you guys don't know, I did used to do like transformation. So I'll include some of the women that I work with. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you though, right? Cosmetology school was not a top option for me. I mean, I am not interested in learning how to cut hair. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, okay with being a kitchen beautician. However, pursuing the esthetician or nail technician track within the cosmetology field, nah, that was me, okay? That was for your girl, that was for me. And then the school that I end up choosing, they have two tracks that are available where you can obtain a certificate in nail or esthetician program. And both programs require 21 hours, but some of the same classes that you have to take for one track is required for the other track. So essentially, if I completed both tracks in esthetician and nails, I can get both certificates in less than 12 months. So I can go to state boards and take those as well. I mean, why not? So I am becoming a nail technician really just because of my own personal experience. So during my deployment, I learned how to do my own dip nails in the desert. And then I continue to do my nails like whenever I can, because 
I really hate going into the nail salon and just really spending hours in there. And like, if I go to get a pedicure and get a fill-in, I have to go on two separate days. Like, I just cannot sit that long. I don't know if I have ADHD. I don't know. Let me know. Can you guys relate? But I'm just saying, like, if you know, you know, right? <laughs> you know, once if they do the feet first, I got to come back for my hands. If you do my hands first, I'm not coming back for the feet, right? It, it just depends, right? But when I was a teenager in the 90s, yeah, I'm telling my age. But when I was a teenager in the 90s, I loved airbrushing my nails. But my mom, like, disapproved of anything fake. Like, she is your natural Nancy. I mean, she didn't like makeup. She didn't like lashes, nails. And so she couldn't afford to get my nails done. And, y'all, I was broke, so I couldn't afford it either. But I did have an aunt who used to take me to the beauty supply store and she would give me all the things that I needed to purchase my nails. Like, shout out to my aunt. All right. So, you know, like the nails essentials, like your clippers, your buffer, um, the actual press on nail. So enrolling back in nail school, it's like bringing back memories of my teenage years. And even when I used to just bond with my aunt, I mean, she'll be sitting over there having a drink. I'll be doing my nails. <laughs> and... And I know that the nail industry has really evolved in the past two decades. I mean, I haven't did this since I was like 15 or 16 years old, right? I mean, now they have gel, acrylic, silk nails, but I think that's like the fascinating part about it. Like to be able to learn and apply all these new techniques, but then performing some of these services on others, y'all, y'all gonna have to work with me on that one. Like <laughs> you're gonna have to work on me, but here we are again, right? Here we go again. Evolving. Evolving, right? It is so interesting that I am beginning beauty school around my birthday. Because it seems like every year I have some type of major life change when it comes to my birthday. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. I don't know. Who knows, right? But my birthday was the day that I started my YouTube channel. My What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Thurston Huntsville, and I'm coming to you with my very first video today. So, I am in St. Lucia, and I'm turning 30 tomorrow, and I was like, you know what? I am tired of being afraid of YouTube. I am going to upload my very first video. Birthday was one of the days that I released my ebook. My birthday is now going to be the start of my nail journey. Like, are you here for it? Like, let me know. Like, are you ready? Are you ready? Let, let me know in the comments below but what can you anticipate from my nail school experience well honey girl you gotta expect the unexpected okay i'm sure there's gonna be a fair share of struggle nails before i master a full set and my intent is to document my progress every day but i'm not gonna guarantee that right now okay don't hold me to that but you can expect to see some beauty related content on this channel and I really just hope that by sharing my experience someone will feel inspired to pursue their own journey whether that involves cosmetology school or not because y'all like pursuing my passion has really just made me feel incredibly like fulfilled and free and I don't know if I never become a nail technician, like I'm just grateful that I did not have to pay for this education or I did not have to go into debt for it. Um, I've worked so many jobs in the past. So just having a fresh start where I'm not worried about anything, I'm not concerned about money. Y'all, this is just amazing. Like, I don't know what this phase is right now, but I am so loving it for myself. Like, I really hope that y'all get to experience this if it's something that you desire. But when I tell you, like, guys, you can have it all. You can have what you want. I don't know if you're getting ready to start nail school or not, right? But if that is what you desire, girl, go for it. And if it works out, it works out. But somehow, some way, it's going to work out because you wouldn't be taking this path if you didn't think so. So are y'all ready to see me nail it? <laughs> Do y'all get it? Nail it? Okay. Pun intended. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is my video. Expect some more nail and beauty content on the way. And um, let's head to school, mamas. 
Talk to you later. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know, did you go to nail technician school? Are you thinking about cosmetology school? Do it, sis. Evolving. Evolving. Evolving.